three men sit in a room. One is a merchant, one is a warrior, and one is a king. Who holds true power? If your answer is immediately the king, let's take a step back. The merchant could pay the warrior to kill the king. The king could order the warrior to kill the merchant. Or perhaps true power lies with the warrior himself, as he is the one with the means to kill. True power lies where people believe it lies. I know I'm paraphrasing something we've all heard before. The same is true when we talk about nations. The true power of a nation doesn't always lie in its military or political power, but in its citizens and both its allies and enemies' belief that it has power. For about 100 years between the early 1800s and the early 1900s, the British Empire is generally believed by historians to have reached its peak. After the First World War, it began a constant decline. The UK was forced by economic necessity to join the European Economic Community back in 1973, what we call the EU today. The idea that Brexit is somehow restoring the British Empire is madness, that relies more on nostalgic yearnings than a realistic appraisal of history of the last century. Brexit was, in an ironic sense, a rejection of British power in the world, because Britain benefited greatly from EU membership. Brexiteers just couldn't understand how a nation that once ruled the waves could come crashing down to earth where it would have to ask its neighbours and former enemies to join an economic union. Now, how powerful a nation is perceived depends on two groups of people, those who live outside that respective nation and those who live within it. According to a recent survey conducted by Ipsos Mori for the Rank Corporation and the EU-UK Forum, Less than half of Britons believe that the UK is a force for good in the world. This has dropped 10 points in less than 5 months. 41% of Britons surveyed believe the UK should punch above its weight in world affairs, while those who believe that the UK should stop pretending it's an actual important power is up 5 points from 38% from last year. Still sticking with the Ipsos Mori poll, 4 out of 10 of the respondents believe that Britain is Europe's most important relationship. The old rhetoric of they need us more than we need them? Well, not quite. Eight out of 10 would choose a relationship with the EU over either the Commonwealth or the United States. While the vast majority of Britons believe that a relationship with the EU is important after Brexit, less than 40% actually believe that it's possible to hammer out a good deal. There are still many people in the UK that believe that Britain is ready to return to some sort of imperial status after the end of the transition period, but those people are pretty much irrelevant. I understand that those people are attempting to control the narrative, both in the public discourse and in the media. They were successful in convincing people that sunlit uplands would be waiting for them if they voted to leave back in 2016. Many Brexiteers still think that things will eventually get better. However, propaganda promising future unicorns is one thing. Their reaction from the general public after Brexit and when they get to see just how powerful a post-Brexit Britain really is, I doubt any amount of propaganda will convince them that Britain is better off outside of Europe. So, I just want to finish with one final question. Will the government be able to convince the public that the empire has somehow been restored after Brexit? Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee, so why not check it out?